Hey, what's up guys? It's Abby Andrew and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Dolls Kill haul because Dolls Kill is one of my favorite websites and whenever I order from them I feel like I go a little bit overboard and buy like a lot more things than I mean to. But I'm really excited to show you guys what I got from them because I got some super cute stuff and I'm in love with all of it. So I'm just gonna jump right in and skip all the like introductory stuff and just get started. So all the stuff in this haul is actually stuff that I got in their Black Friday sale and it was actually, oh my, I was so irritated with them because of this because first they had a Black Friday sale which was like pretty decent, it was like 30% off, I'm pretty sure the whole store, which was really awesome and I got a lot of stuff from that and then on Cyber Monday after the uh, Black Friday, it was like a whole weekend sale that ended on like Sunday night and then I'm pretty sure Cyber Monday came around and they started an even better sale. I'm pretty sure it was like up to 50% off for some items. So I was a little bit pissed at first because some of the items that I bought on the Black Friday sale were even cheaper for the Cyber Monday sale. So I was a little bit heated, okay? But honestly, it wasn't that big of a financial difference and like that's their choice to do. Obviously, that's not like a scam or something, but I was still a little bit irritated. But despite that I was irritated with them, when I saw the Cyber Monday sale and some stuff that I was considering buying was even cheaper, I obviously had to still buy more things from them because I'm addicted to Dolls Kill. Um, so that's how I ended up with all of this stuff. So the first piece I'm gonna start with is actually the piece that I'm wearing now, which I'm so in love with. I've actually already worn it out once. Um, but this is the Sugar Thrills Daughters of Darkness corset, velvet corset, something like that is the title. Uh, I'll link all these pieces below. So this is indeed a corset type piece and all that really means I guess is that it has like these plastic ribs here and it has them on the back as well. And that it ties in the front so um, it gets really adjustable. The only one tiny thing that didn't know me about this piece is that the plastic ribs that are here as part of the corset like really kind of just stab you in the armpit all day. I'm pretty sure the side was coming out somewhere along the seam, so that was really annoying too that it was already kind of ripping through. But I mean like I feel like that's just a feature of her corset, so that's just like the nature of the piece. It's not really like a problem with it, but it was kind of annoying uh, if you are considering buying this for yourself that did kind of get uncomfortable. But honestly it's really not that bad at all. You kind of get used to it and you figure out like where you can place it on your body so it's not like poking you in the arm all night, but it's definitely a super, super cute piece and I'm obsessed with it. I'm also a really big fan of like the pink and black combo. I feel like it's kind of girly and feminine, but also still not like too much. So it kind of like balances it out a little bit. So this top I actually purchased with this skirt in order to wear them together because I thought it would have been the cutest look ever. This is actually like a metal ring underneath here, but I'm not gonna take off the tags and like the tissue paper because I unfortunately have to return this because it is way too small. Like it is tiny. Like it doesn't even cover my bum <laughs> and it also like barely fits my waist. It looks like it's made for a baby, which I mean, you might hear what I'm saying and be like, oh, you just ordered the wrong size, get a size up. But the thing about this is, is that it fit me kind of around the waist, like it was a tiny bit tight, but not so bad. But like, getting it over my like bum was a huge problem. I'm trying to be like kind of PG here, but for some reason bum is the only word I can think to say for like butt. So even though it fit around my waist, it was really hard to like actually pull up to my waist because it was so hard to get it over my bum. <laughs> And the other thing is that I actually was able to get it on. I'm not going to show you because it was like way too short to be like friendly to show on camera uh, <laughs> and still be PG. Um, but it's also incredibly friggin short. Like it does not cover anything. The other thing that annoys me is that I've purchased current mood clothing before and usually small or even extra small fit me really, really well. But this, this is a small. And it was like way, way, way too tiny on me, like both in length and like everything. So, <laughs> I don't know, in the picture that I saw on their website, I really didn't anticipate it to be like a tiny, like, it's a basically like more like a belt than a skirt, so, so I'm gonna be returning this. Unfortunately, they only give you store credit for returns, but then again, for me, with how much I love their style, that's really not that big of a problem. I'm hoping that I can find a similar skirt on their website that'll have the same, like, obviously this is fake leather, kind of vibe to it, but actually be like a normal length skirt or normal length like mini skirt. But yeah, love the look of this, but it didn't really work out. Next thing I bought was another skirt that I absolutely do love. And this one is also a small, and this one fits me perfectly. Although it's from a different brand. That one was Current Mood, and this one is from a brand called Emery Park, which I actually haven't seen on their website before. It was my first Emery Park item, I guess. Uh, but this is really cute, fits me beautifully, and the funny thing about this skirt is that even though it's Dolls Kill, 
um, which I feel like is always kind of like more punk rock, like alternative style, like nothing you would want to wear to like a workplace. This is like one of the few items they sell that like would actually be cute to wear to work too. So what I love about this skirt is how dynamic it is, because you can either style it to be like kind of grungy and cool, or you can style it to be like going to the office if you put like a blazer and like tights on or something. So <laughs> I just really like how dynamic this is because I will absolutely get so much wear out of it because a lot of the stuff that I buy from Dolls Kill that I'm obsessed with, I unfortunately like can't wear to where I work right now, which is a bummer, which is sad because I love it so much. So then I just go really over the top on weekends and like wear it as much as I can at night uh, when I'm going out with friends, but this is totally dynamic and I can wear it like in any situation. I was very happy with this purchase. Next thing I got was actually one of the things I bought on Cyber Monday because it was like so crazy discounted that I thought it was just such a cool piece that I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just gonna get it too, even though it's a little bit out there. So it was actually a two-piece set. Um, I forget how cheap it was. I feel like it was down to like 11 bucks when I ended up buying it. Huh, I feel like someone's playing Jenga upstairs. But anyway, I, I'm pretty sure this piece was down to like 11 bucks for the two for the set. So that's like crazy cheap for Dolls Kill. Uh, so I had to buy it because I thought the top was so cute. The top is this sheer halter top, which I, I mean, maybe I would wear it with nothing under it if I was going to like a music festival, but that's definitely quite risque. Uh, so for the most part, I probably wear it like with a black tank top under it going out, which is kind of annoying because it's always hard to wear something underneath a halter top because then the straps are showing like on the sides the halter top is behind your neck so it's always weird to have like a lot of different straps going on but I kind of don't mind it I tried it on earlier and I thought it looked really cute with that anyway plus I could just wear like a vest on top and it would cover that up and I feel like I'm always wearing sweaters when I'm out because I'm always freezing so either way that wouldn't really show but I thought this was just such a cool unique freaking piece I thought these like flowers were really cool the way they're like sequiny uh, the thing about this is that it was really hard to put on without feeling like I'm gonna tear through the mesh or like I'm going to rip off the flowers like it feels very very delicate so I do have to be kind of careful with it but again for how cheap it was like I can't really complain now the bottoms are a different story I bought this set for the top I'm probably never ever gonna wear these bottoms because they're pretty uh, pretty out there but they're these kind of like high-waisted um, like booty shorts can you even call these booty shorts at that point? Because they're basically just like underwear. So the thing about this is that I would never wear this out, obviously, but you can't even really wear it as underwear either because like the sequins would be so freaking uncomfortable. But it's kind of a cute look with the two of them together, but like not a look that anyone else is gonna see but me, I guess. <laughs> not only is it like super short, but it's also like totally sheer too, so um <laughs> Definitely a little bit too risque for me. But the top is really freaking cute, okay? And the top, I also thought was really cute paired with this freaking giant tutu that I bought from Dolls Kill, which is also um, really crazy. This is from Sugar Thrills as well, and this was discounted like to $7 or something. I don't remember the exact prices that I got them for, but they were all like crazy, crazy discounted. And I thought this was super unique. If you know me, uh, you know I love tutus. Like that's something you would know if you know me like personally. For some reason, I have a very large collection of tutus. But this is actually like a longer tutu that like actually covers everything. I mean, it's still sheer, I think, but I would wear it with shorts under. Um, and I would like wear this out normally. Like not to work or like not, I don't I probably wouldn't even wear this to like a club because I would look insane. But I, even just like out around in the city, um, things like this fly in New York City that wouldn't necessarily fly somewhere in like the middle of the country, but <laughs> this is really, really cool. And because it was so discounted, I was like, you know what, why not? Even if I never wear it, like it's so cheap anyway. Next I'm going to get into some of the jewelry that I bought from them, and if you haven't already noticed, these giant knife earrings are from Dolls Kill from this order, and I think these are so cool. When I was younger, I had a huge obsession with big, obnoxious earrings, and I hated wearing any earrings that weren't just like a statement piece. Like, I thought it was pointless to wear like little studs that no one could see anyway. So, I kind of like got over that obsession in the last couple years, and I feel like seeing these earrings specifically made me get back into that because I think these are so cool. <laughs> I love them a lot. I like how the knife's kind of reflecty. I like how they just look very badass and make any look just that much more badass. And I also just think it's really funny how much they contrast with my personality because I'm a very obviously like non-violent kind of person. Like I'm a friggin' vegan for God's sakes. Like I wouldn't even hurt an animal. Um, well, I feel like you have to be really messed up to hurt an animal. That shouldn't be like the standard. But uh, <laughs> I'll just think of these as something I would use for cooking. Just 
call me like a chef, you know what I'm saying? And I love them with the shaved head. I think it just looks very badass. And the other pair of earrings that I bought were these really cool alien earrings. I just liked how they were kind of like pastel rainbow and I love alien things because like I'm an alien, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> these are really cute. I feel like these are also very ASMR. Look, they're making out. <laughs> if you guys don't know what ASMR is, you probably think I'm insane right now, but you should look it up. Um, just so you don't think I'm insane. It's also funny because if you look on Dolls Kill's Instagram, sometimes they actually do ASMR videos. So I'm so surprised they never made use of these because like, that noise is fantastic. Wow. And the last piece of jewelry I got from Dolls Kill was this friggin' mood necklace locket. I actually haven't taken this out of the package yet somehow. Uh, I guess I was waiting for the haul to take it out. So I also just love all things like mood necklace like mood rings mood necklaces i think they're so fun and remind me of like childhood super nostalgic gotta find something tiny to put in here uh, a little picture or something but this is so cute and it's just a little simple necklace and it was pretty cheap so i love it this one i can even potentially like wear to the office and like probably no one would notice that it's a mood necklace <laughs> and that i'm still seven but uh yeah, this is amazing. The next two things I'm gonna show you are kind of funny because they're both kind of the same type of thing, but very different as well. So they're both two pairs of black boots, but one is long, one is short, one is more like floppy, one is more sturdy. So let me start with these. These are hard to show on camera without me wearing them because they're so like tall and floppy, uh, but the whole top part is very like flimsy. Obviously again, uh, fake leather but uh, they also tie on the top so they stay tight to wherever they go up to so they're not like slouching on you all night. They have a little bit of a heel. These I think I got for like 40 bucks or something, which is not bad at all for a Dolls Kill shoe, and they're, they're pretty good. Uh, the one thing about them is I have already worn these out, and for most of the night, they were pretty comfortable, but walking around in New York City, if you've ever gone out in the city, you know that you're probably gonna have to do a lot of walking at the end of the night to go to and from places. And these, after a while, were killing my feet so badly to the point where the person I was with like gave me a piggyback ride for the last two blocks because my feet were just gonna fall off my body. It might be a matter of breaking them in though, so I hope that's the case. But next time I wear these out, if I can uh, muster up the courage to do that again without them destroying my feet, I'll probably have to like take cabs everywhere, or, like lifts, Ubers everywhere because walking too much in these was a bad idea. But for the whole most of the night, um, I was at like a little party where I wasn't walking around that much. So for most of the night, they were totally fine, like comfortable even, so just not good for walking. These boots are not, in fact, made for walking, but they are cute, and I love them so much anyway. <laughs> and then the other pair are these like chunky black heeled booties with like a zipper. Obviously, you can see that. They have this cool little loop on the front which matched the loops on the black pleather skirt that didn't fit me because I also was gonna wear these three pieces all as a set, like this pink top, the fake leather skirt with these, but my hopes and dreams were crushed because the skirt doesn't fit me, but I'll have to find a new similar one to fit the aesthetic, but I think these shoes just make anything look super kind of like 90s grunge. I love them so much. They're a tiny bit hard to walk in because they're so chunky, but they're definitely still like comfortable enough that I would wear them out. So the last piece I'm going to show you isn't something that I bought with the rest of the stuff. It's actually a piece that I got for Christmas, but I love this piece so much, so I figured I would show it to you as well. It is this awesome, uh, it's full of stuff right now, but it's this awesome iridescent holographic, whatever, whichever word applies, pink suitcase. I love it so much, it's so heavy. I put all the things I got for Christmas inside it to bring it back to my apartment, like for my family house, and I haven't unpacked them yet. But yeah, this is like really sturdy, beautiful, good quality as far as I can tell so far. <laughs> I've barely really used it much, but it's got these front pockets, two of them, I think. I don't know, I'm basically just telling you details that are on like all suitcases, but what I liked about this one is that it fits as a carry-on, because I never really check bags because I only kind of travel lightly for the most part. I just cracked my ankle, I feel like that was mad loud. And I can go to the airport looking like a super glam diva because it is so beautiful, so eye-catching. People are probably gonna be staring at me when I go to the airport, but I love it so much. I'm just waiting for the first time I go to the airport it to get like severely scuffed and I'm gonna be devastated, but for now, it is still in beautiful, perfect, shiny, sparkly condition and I love it so friggin' much. 
so much. Okay guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite piece. If you guys like Dolls Kill as much as I do, I freaking love all this stuff. I feel like their stuff is so unique. For the most part, I only really shop from them when they have big sales, so I always buy so much stuff whenever it's Black Friday. Even though I know I'm posting this so much after Black Friday, this was all stuff that I got during those sales. But yeah, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.